Hey guys, so I'm here in Lublin in the southeast of Poland and Lublin is the ninth biggest city in the country and tonight I'm going to take you on a nightlife tour down a street called Krakowski Street which is the main street of the city The fountains look brilliant, they're all lit up in all different colours and in the summertime here they have fountain shows in the park so if you go straight ahead there, you have the, um, the Lithuanian park and there's an agreement between many, many years ago, I think in the 16th century, there was an agreement between Poland and Lithuania and Lublin and Vilnius are like the friendship cities and they have a pact together. So when you go into that, that park straight ahead where you see the fountains, you see a screen and you can watch Vilnius on the screen. So you, you watch life in Vilnius on the screen and in Vilnius, they have a screen where they can watch life in Lublin. So it's a, it's a friendship between Poland and Lithuania that's gone on for many, many years. And they have a statue in the park and it's dedicated to Lithuania. It's a really nice idea. We're about um, 110 miles from the Belarus border here. And it's about 150 miles from the Ukraine border. So there's people here from many different countries, but the main thing here is most of the people are here because they're students, because you know here in Lublin, there's eight universities here in the city. So students come here from all over the world. I've seen students here from Spain, Portugal, Turkey, from many, many countries. And the local people are really friendly here in Lublin. I do recommend a visit. So to the right side there, we have um, a chocolate shop and you get co really nice coffee in there as well. It's nine o'clock now on a Saturday night. So I'm gonna show you the nightlife in this city. I'm gonna recommend you some bars here and some restaurants. So this is the main party area of the city. There's a really cool bar here called Ostro. And this bar is open really late at night. They play all the disco music. They've got DJs on there. I was there last night and it's really busy. It's good fun if you go there guys, especially if you come here for the first time. Everybody's dancing, it's free entry too. There's a really nice terrace here on the right side. People sitting outside. It's the 15th of October. It feels like the summertime. Everybody's out tonight. Everybody's enjoying themselves. The weather is just lovely. It's been 18 degrees today. There's like a, a really nice cafe culture with lots of terraces here. You know, like when you're in Spain, it's similar to that really. So musicians playing music in the street. Oh, and here's an American place on the right called Dirty Joe. Let's have a look inside. It's got a big screen in there. I didn't realize actually I should have gone in there, but I was in the Irish pub for the football tonight for the Everton game. And you can get ribs in there. And it looks really nice actually in the Dirty Joe pub. I've not been in that one yet, but I will check it out tonight. I'll check out all the pubs tonight. So kebab house on the right side. They did me some nice cheesy chips the other day with barbecue sauce. I enjoyed that. And there's so many different cafe bars here. Um, it's difficult to choose when you first arrive, which one to go to really. Um, this is a nice one with a terrace there. So upstairs you can have some soup and you can have some Polish food. But um, there's, a, there's a cool nightclub there called Dom Kulturi. Um, I went there the other day, but there was a big queue to get inside. But when I got in, there was hundreds and hundreds of people in the club. 
and I do recommend it, especially on Thursday nights. It was a proper good party. Apparently it's a student night, but it was, it was really good music. Everybody was dancing. It was really rocking, guys. And straight ahead, we have the, um, the Pialnia Vodka Bar. So you have a Pialnia bar in every city in Poland. Um, they're very cheap. You get shots, shots of vodka for about one euro. You get a pint of beer for about two euros. So it's always a, a cheap place to start the night, the Pialnia bar. Next door, we have the Studnia bar. And uh, it looks quite nice inside. It looks quite trendy inside there, really. It's got a nice terrace as well. <laughs> and they have daily promotions. I saw it the other day. Let's have a look. So they have different daily promotions here. They have, for example, on, on a Wednesday, you can get a burger for 20 zloty, which is four pounds. On a Thursday, you can get a cocktail sweet and sour for three pounds, that's 15 zloty. So if you look out for daily promos when you're here as well, guys, they do have daily promos Monday to Friday. <laughs> so we're walking on now towards the, um, the Grodzka gate that's in the center. And when you go beyond the Grodzka gate, you get to the old town. So that's full of um, like wine bars, old cafes, cobbled streets, colorful buildings. Um, it's not a place for nightclubs, but there's some really nice pubs there, like old pubs. Uh, the Irish pubs up there too, where I watched the football tonight. So we're on the right there, we've got a burger bar called Bobby Burger. Basically they're in every city in Poland. It's like McDonald's, maybe a bit better than McDonald's. And here is the Brewer Lublin. If you're into craft beer, maybe that's a good choice. Let's have a look. There you go, looks quite nice, Brewer Lublin. Um, let's get it into the sign. And the trees are just lovely. Look at these trees, they're all, they're all very well maintained. They look very nice. They're kind of round. Um, I remember seeing trees like this, these lovely round ones when I lived in Marbella in Spain uh, before I moved to Poland. And um, they're lovely, just very similar to the ones on Marbella Promenade. And all the streets are cobbled here. And I'll just show you the town hall here on the left side. So that wonderful white building there straight ahead, that is the town hall of the city. It looks really impressive. And here's a really nice coffee shop on the right side called Pellier. I went there today and they offer things like uh, French baguettes and toasts, um, you know, coffees and sandwiches and everything, salads. And on the right side here with the red sign, we've got Jimmy's Art Grill. Now that's an American restaurant and I had a lovely dinner there last night. I had a steak baguette and it was just delicious to be honest. And um, I had chips with it and they had a, a butter chili sauce and it was really, really nice. So let's show you this one. I do recommend Jimmy's. They play all kind of like um, disco music inside and everything too. Really nice one. So straight ahead, you can see the main bar street of the city called Krakowski Street. So to get here on the fast train from Krakow, it takes about four hours. Um, the best way is probably fly to Warsaw and it takes about one hour, 10 minutes on the fast train from Warsaw to Lublin. Uh, Lublin is in Southeast Poland. It has a population of 340,000 people and it's one of the most historic cities in Poland. And when you go through that gate over there, the Grodzka gate, um, then it's the most beautiful area of the city. 
it's just absolutely stunning for a st stroll around. And if you carry on straight ahead, you get to the Lubomirsky Castle at the end. So that's a great place for your photographs, guys, as well. So this is the name of the street, if I just focus in here so you can see it. And right now we're in a square called Platz Lotietka. Lokietka, sorry. And this is where most of the taxis stop. You can always pick up a taxi here. So guys, uh, thank you very much for watching my guided tour today. And uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Travel with Col. And that's Col with a C-O-L. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye.